My name is Jeff McGrath, Managing Director of McLaren Applied Technologies. McLaren Applied Technologies was formed back in 2004 and I think Ron Dennis's vision at the time was that he wanted to create a space for engineers to be really challenged beyond their limits. Our mission is to deliver breakthroughs in performance. That means we're seeking to win at everything that we do. Now it's obvious in sport what winning looks like, but when you're building a product, it's not so obvious. So we measure winning in a different way. Did we beat the competition? Did we hit a level of performance that wasn't thought possible? Or were we truly the first to achieve a certain objective? The most attractive element of working with Team GB is they're, they're elite sports, so they're aiming for the best. They're totally aligned philosophically with the drive to win. So we're getting into a lift now. We're going to go downstairs to the High Performance Center and we'll meet Dr. Caroline Hargrove, one of the original inventors of the uh, famous simulator that's uh, propelled McLaren to succeed in racing. Level minus one. Welcome to my office. We're underground at the McLaren Technology Center and you can hear in the background um, we've got a driver here currently practicing for his race at the weekend. The driver sits in a Formula One chassis, which was our, our car of last year. So he's very much into a single-seater format. He has his own steering wheel and he has changes in G's transmitted to him through our motion system. So he can feel how the car twitches and moves and he's surrounded by a screen that is more than 180 degrees to give them a full surround view. So we're trying to encourage not just that you learn the track, but you get into the mindset of how you'll be when you're driving at, at the race. We're concentrating on doing motor racing because that's our background, that's what we know, but it's clear that we can also use it for, well, high-end road cars by, by definition, because we've got one here in this building that we launched not long ago and we'll have a whole series coming up. I'd say now the level of of modeling and simulation in Formula One is, is, is very good. Um, where we can go in future for McLaren Applied Technologies is, is to apply that into other areas. But there are so many areas that that can be applied to. Things like bobsleigh and skeleton, it's, it, these are sports that are really highly demanding on, on the human body. And it's fascinating that we realize that we can start using some of the techniques that we apply in our data analysis into these sports. My name is Rachel Blackburn and I'm a design engineer for McLaren Applied Technologies. We're underground currently in the MAT workshop where we do all of our skeleton and bobsleigh work. The Blackrock sled, the name originates from the two designers, myself, uh, Rachel Blackburn and a fellow colleague, James Roach, who's also now based here at uh, McLaren Applied Technologies. The engineering behind what goes into a sled has very much been involved with the athletes and the athletes that we've worked with, in particular Amy Williams, was very much along the lines of, this is my medal, but I only take the very front of it and you guys are right behind me. I couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have gone down the ice without a sled. So you do very much feel part of a team. Hello, I'm Duncan Bradley. I'm Design Director for Cloud Applied Technologies. Bikes have been around 100 years, but then um, sensors and data and some of the technologies we have available to us in F1 haven't been. Um, now unleashing that kind of capability on different products uh, allows us to look at things in a completely different way. So what was once thought as a you know, standard sort of bike, we can now discover things about how the materials operate under different conditions. We can optimise for, for speed and vibration, ride and, and comfort. So, so here we are in, in front of the um, McLaren Venge, um, obviously one of the most notable um, products we've designed in, in recent history and, and notable because it also sits on our boulevard amongst um, many four-wheeled varieties of vehicles but is, is the only two-wheeled vehicle on the on the boulevard and um, I think a kind of a proud moment for, for the design team because nothing really gets onto our boulevard without um, some sort of uh, I guess sporting recognition uh, and so with the, with the Venge we've had great success uh, we, we always thought it would be a good bike, but to have all of the wins on, on the various riders that have ridden it 
uh, has been just just amazing and really that just shown out by the fact that it has a place on the, on the boulevard. I'm Stephen Rose, Solutions Architect at McLaren Applied Technologies. It's often very challenging to work out what a, what a customer really wants, especially when they're not aware of what technology can do for them. It's one of the best bits of the job really is getting under, under the skin of different people and understanding what makes their world tick. What we're really taking out is the, the McLaren ethos, the McLaren way of thinking and the approach that we take to solving problems. And I think that's one of our real strengths is actually taking those methodologies out and applying them to other industries because we think in quite a different way in McLaren, I think, and by approaching problems from a different angle, we really bring a different viewpoint into any situation. With GB Cycling, we they came to us with a problem whereby they had they had an off-the-shelf force sensor on their on their crank, so they could understand how much power was going into into the crank at any point in time. But they'd hit the limit of that of that sensor. What was really happening was it was only logging information twice a second, and that might be very well for a, a cyclist out on the road who's out for several hours, but for a track cyclist like Chris Hoy, his race is over in tens of seconds, less than that. And so what we were able to do with them was take an off-the-shelf system and actually rebuild the logging system using some of the background we've got in Formula One and the approach we take there. My curiosity for understanding data really comes from my engineering mind. I think I like to understand why. I like to understand the why behind everything. And I think data is a great way of, of finding that why. People I attract to this company are people who almost enjoy the risk, enjoy the unpredictability. I like to say that we compete for the future in real time because the way we approach strategy, the way we uh, design our products is through continuous innovation, continuous change and continuously tracking the market where it's moving.